Well, hello there, everybody. No, I'm not dead. I'll explain in five seconds. But these are just some of the things I got from the Smithsmiths update. Just, just so you know, I am sick. And Jesus, when haven't I not made a video when I'm really not feeling good anyways? So as you can see, though, I did save one thing just for your guys' little heart's desire of all you people that think hats and stuff are super important. You know me. You know what I like. Ha, yeah. You know, someone already asked me a trade request, but let's get into the jump video. Why have I been gone for almost a whole month? Well, if you recalled quite a few weeks ago, I did put out a video saying I got a job. Well, I did have a job. Uh, <laughs> no, I was not fired. I, I had it laid off. Let's just say this. When you're a seasonal worker at Harry and David as a call center person in order entry, you're kind of not really useful after Christmas as long as you're not customer service room, which I'll, I'll explain in a minute. So, what is order entry, you may ask? Well, it's someone that takes the order over the phone. That scrub being me. Well, not really a scrub, I had an amazing sales ratio. And the only problem was I did not sell telephone specials very well. Where you go, oh, by the way, just so you know, today we're having twenty nine ninety five on our favorite Royal Riviera pairs instead of twenty eight ninety five. You know what I mean. You've you got to say stuff like that. Now, let's just say this. I love this job. It was incredible. It was the first job I've ever had. I loved it. I got nine sixty an hour. I don't really care about money. It was the experience of having a grand old time, making someone's day. And uh, let's just say this. You know, when no one realizes that they can't take a check over the phone, that's the only time the job really hurts. And yes, I will have this story to tell you right now. I had one person the very first day on the floor after my first week of training who told me, did you graduate high school? I said, yes, ma'am, I did. And she was very naggy, and she was very nippity, and she was very angry, and she sounded like she was going to hurt me and cry. And yes, I know, I'm shooting a scout on my own team. I haven't played this game in, you know, how long. I recorded this like two weeks ago. Oh, actually, the day before Christmas or something like that. But anyways, this woman, she was so angry. She was so ugly. I don't know what I did to her. And so she just yells, Did you graduate high school? Because you should not have. You don't deserve to have graduated high school. And you know what? Cancel the order. Cancel everything. I'm never ordering from Harry and David again. Goodbye. She just hung up. And uh, lucky for me, that was the call before my break. And I was very, very confused. What makes these people? Just tell me what makes these people. The other thing I really hated was someone asked for free shipping. Ship joy. Anyways, what was I saying? Anyways... I, you never like when people ask for free shipping. It was terrible. Anyways, but just, oh, I loved it, guys. Just getting out in the real world, having a grand old time, trying to stab this demo man and missing completely, doing horrible. I had people watching over me this whole time, so it was really hard to even concentrate. They were like, yeah, yeah, stab that man, stab him, stab him. And I was like, yeah, it's awkward. I can't stand this anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know... It was really an awesome experience. I would love to go back. And I do actually get my discounts and everything. I got 45% off because of the holiday season special at Harry and David. If you guys don't know what, you know, we sell, it's happiness in a box. I'm just saying. You know what joy is? It's unwrapping gift by gift from a Harry and David gift box tower. Holiday signature treats. L1X, L2X, L3X. You know how many memorized numbers I have in my head of products from that company right now? I don't know if I even get this demo, man. I don't know how I didn't get it. I was too, too much of a scrub anyways. But, you know, you memorize so much being there for only a few days. I only had four days of training, but it was like ten hours each. And, yeah, it was paid, just so you know. But I don't even care about money, so it doesn't even matter. But, you know, it was an awesome job, and I really did try and style on this sniper, but I just get destroyed. But anyways, the next match is coming up in a second. We win the round, actually. Anyways, though, so you know, I did actually get to work with my very special friend. We had the exact same job. She just had different hours than me, and that was about it. But, you know, it was really fun because I get to see her every now and then. I'd be like, hey, I'm being a scrub today. And it was an awesome experience anyways. And her mom worked there, too, so it was even more cool. Her mom really was happy. She was pretty cool. Anyways, though, enough of that stuff. You guys want to know the dirty, dirty secrets of what I had to do and what was my super awesome advantage of having to work there. You know, to be truly honest, the only thing I got different was uh, I got free Royal Riviera pears from the break room and uh, free moose munch every 20 minutes, it felt like. But this is, by the way, this is the match of the buff banner. I'm talking, and, you know, it's sorry there's no structure to this, really, but, you know, I haven't made a video in a month, and I'm feeling sick, and I, I have some amazing news as well. Um, yes, I'm still going to be with my very special friend. We're going to be together someday here soon. But 
I am actually a brother. I found this out last night. Um, yeah. Not from my mom, but you know, it's a miracle in life and I'm not upset about it. It's very awesome. I'm very happy with that. You know, and it's not like I... It's not that very much good happened when I was away for a month. And that's a good thing I wasn't recording because I was in a horrible mood. I've been moving around houses. I'm probably going to move. It's not very fun. Don't have any internet. This is the actual only day I've been able to really sit down and record because I'm actually at a house that has internet. My PS2 got fixed. That was a $10 Christmas gift. Someone got me a replacement PS2, and I got to play all my old games. I've been playing God of War 1 lately, and I forgot how much of an incredible experience that really is. Ship joy, treat. Uh, what's another thing I'm thinking of? Uh, da, 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 9NJ. Anyways, what am I saying these things for? You can't even order anything right now. But anyways... I actually have a fun Christmas story to explain with you guys. To go to my dad's new girlfriend's uh, parents' house, I wanted to get them a very nice gift. And, of course, me being trying to seem like the cool guy that worked at Harry and David and having the 45 super cool special awesome discount on everything in the store, including wine, I said, you know, I'm just going to go with my mom and get him a nice bottle of wine. And so I did. But, you know, the funny thing is, they didn't card me. They didn't even ask anything of, can I see your employee badge? Did it to do? Okay, have a nice day. I didn't say a damn thing. I was very concerned. I'm like, huh, you just laid me off. Let's, let's do this. And if you're unfamiliar with how that works, is because being a seasonal worker, you're not really needed all, the year, all year long. Unless I was customer service trained, which thank God I wasn't, because truly the 25th um, Christmas arrival date for all of our products, no, 24th, my mistake. And uh, I don't think I want to be in customer service train when all the people are screaming in your ear, It's wrong! It didn't look right to picture the gold wrap pair's got some skin on it! It's so duh! Because you know there's somebody that's going to be like that. You know there's that guy. And you know, people say, you know, don't stereotype people from New York for having a New York accent talking like this, you know, on the phone. Oh, you're gone and rage the New York accent in me, buddy. You know, we are New Yorkers. That was seriously what I dealt with all day, eight hours a day. It was fun, though. I loved it. It was incredible. And you can't even say stereotypes aren't true after a while. When you start hearing, you see the call coming from Alabama, you know, it's going to be like this. It was so much fun. And it was just a great job. And I highly recommend anybody to just try something out like that someday. Just try a job where you get to take calls and, you know, not saying do this because I should so. It's just, it was a good experience and I loved it. And I hope you guys like this video. I'm very sorry. Just be patient. Be patient. Patience is rewarding. And so is Moose Munch, because I got it for free every day. I don't even like chocolate. I don't know. Scrub.